Today we are going to present you the OCC CGI process. Due to its superior mixture of mechanical properties and heat conductivity, the compacted graphite cast iron is used for products such as engine blocks, cylinder heads, clutch discs, exhaust manifolds and lately also hydraulic components. At our reference customers Daimler, Fritz Winter, MAN, Harzkus Sorge, Gienand, Sinotruck, FAW and Weichai Power, a yearly tonnage of 120,000 tons is produced, making the OCC CGI process to the number one system for the mass volume production. The castings are the principal components, for example, for the Renault V9 X diesel engine, which gives power to the Nissan Pathfinder and the Renault Laguna. They are also used for the MAN D20 D26 series, for the new generation of Daimler motors and for the DAF MX. Due to our stable growth in Germany and our fast expanding business in Asia, we were able to expand our advance on the competitors, measured in the yearly tonnage controlled by the navigator. Let's take a look at the components. The CGI navigator is the core software of our system. We collect data from all measurement equipment such as temperature measurement lenses, thermal analysis and spectrometer. He knows the product specification from the master data of the OCC foundry information system. Based on its integral metallurgical know-how, he calculates the magnesium and inoculum indexes directly from the thermal analysis curves derived from the Facelab software. With this information and information on previous production cycles, he can then calculate the needed core wire additions needed as well as the bulk additions to have the treatment made in only one step. The Facelab, OCC's well-established thermal analysis software, uses functional approximation to analyze the curves and it's the main measurement equipment on the CGI process. For the base iron, a standard cup is used, but for the treated iron, OCC's patented dual chamber defined volume Akuvu cup comes into play. One of the main advantages of the cup is the fast acquisition of results. The Akuvu cup, together with the phase lab algorithm for curve analysis, allows us to calculate the needed indexes in within 90 seconds after taking the sample. The OCC's temperature measurement system temp control is used to derive the temperature of the melt and directly transfers this information to the CGI navigator to help in the calculation of the needed wire additions. For the metallurgical conversion of the base iron melt to a ready to pour CGI, OCC has developed the wire master and the treat master iron processing tools. At foundries that use the pouring ladle also to perform the ladle treatment, OCC provides a wire machine that is equipped with a movable cover and uses a clamp adjusted to the purring system. If on the other hand, the ladle has to be attached to the forklifter or to the crane during the performance of the treatment, the OCC delivers a solution where the cover is fixed. These two construction lines allow the foundry to have a product that is always adapted to their needs. The wire master is equipped with two wire feeder heads so that the magnesium and the inoculant addition can be made independently. This helps to decrease the needed time to perform the treatment. If you want to run your melt shop at a small number of base iron grades and you decide to add the alloying elements directly in the ladle, then the treat master is the perfect solution for you. To build a treat master, we assemble a bulk addition system to the wire machine to perform the treatment. The aim of the treat master is to provide a tool to implement a flexible and automated process. By the use of the treat master, foundries can, for example, adjust to different sulfur levels by adjusting their air earth additions during treatment, which leads to a high metallurgical flexibility. To achieve the soundness of the castings, OCC uses individual carbon additions to ensure that the CGI always solidifies with the same distance to the eutetic point. Therefore, carbon is one of the elements that should be added by the treat master for the process control. The CGI navigator also calculates the needed bulk additions and directly transfers this information to the treat master to perform the treatment. OCC's process flexibility 
allows the agreement with the customer in order to obtain the best possible solution. In the discussion, the purring furnace, melting and holding furnace type, the available personnel in the foundry and the costs are considered. The treatment can be performed exclusively with the wire master, with the treat master, with a combination of both or with bulk additions made by hand in cases of a purring furnace process. Let's now take a look at the production cycle and follow the melt from tapping till purring in a traditional CGI ladle process. First, a ladle is ordered at the CGI navigator. The information on the furnace and the amount of melt to take from the base iron is then displayed to the driver of the forklifter via an industrial display or, if available, a portable computer terminal inside the forklifter. Based on the knowledge of the process flow and the actual tapping weight, the CGI navigator calculates the needed bulk additions of carbon and cerium mesh metal to be added to the batch. As an option, OCC can transfer the weight information from the scale at the forklift via radio communication back to the CGI navigator. The CGI navigator orders the temperature measurement via a display. If the temperature is at the correct range, the system will automatically calculate the magnesium and the inoculant wire needed to perform the treatment. The forklifter driver then places the ladle at the correct position and presses start. When the treatment is running, the system automatically controls the wire addition length and the wire speed. At the end of the treatment, a sample from the melt is spurred into the Akuvu cup. The phase lab system analyzes the thermal analysis curve and the CGI navigator calculates both the magnesium and the inoculant index within 90 seconds after taking the sample. If both indexes are in the desired range, the ladle is sent for purring. During the purring process, the CGI navigator controls the still available time to pour castings within the desired metallurgical quality considering all the fading effects. The customer is free to decide if a sample from the residual melt is to be taken for the final quality control. OCC CGI process. It's so easy. Try it yourself.